morning, family. How's everybody doing out there? I hope everybody is blessed and in, uh, in God's presence right now. So there's no better, uh, no better way to be, but in God's hands, in God's arms, in God's presence, in God's heart. So I just come before you right now and uh, want to start us with a little prayer. Heavenly Father, I just come before you this beautiful morning. I rejoice, I repeat, I rejoice, and I rejoice, for it's a blessed, beautiful day that the Lord has made. Thank you for this beautiful sun, thank you for this beautiful air, thank you for the beauty all around us that you have made for us to enjoy our daily lives and to fulfill your will, Father God. You just give us the strength, the encouragement, the wisdom, the understanding, uh, the tools, Father God, to keep on pressing forward, to keep on pressing forward, where there's no other, other way, but to stay centered in the light. For God is the light. Thank you, Father God, for this uh, safe trip that you had, uh, that you guys have uh, provided. We just got here uh, from the Greyhound about 10, 15 minutes ago from Phoenix to Las Vegas. Father God, and uh, you know the reason uh, I'm here. And uh, I just want you to guide every every step of the way, every thought, everything I do, everything I say, every action, Father God, may be controlled by you, by your Holy Spirit, Father God. I just invite and welcome your anointing Holy Spirit to come and take over this heart. His mind, his body, Father God. I deny myself daily, completely. Pick up my cross and I'll follow you, Father God. I'm willing to be an obedient disciple, an obedient child of the most high living God. That's Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for the trip. And I just give a uh, give uh, the minds and the hearts to those people that I'm going to have to deal with here in this city, which is city of sin, sin city. For the saying is, what happens in Vegas is in Vegas, but that's from the enemy. That's a lie. What happens anywhere in the world, God knows. God knows, and we're going to have to give an account for all our actions, for all our thoughts. To our deeds. So, Father God, bless each one and everyone that's uh, in this place that comes here for this uh, world entertainment, for they call it the capital, uh, the world entertainment capital here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Father God, whatever is of the world will be destroyed by what it is of God. It's eternal. Father God, help us to uh, understand and to uh, walk by faith and not by sight. For by sight, all we see will be no more. But your word, your word's holy and it's powerful. It's eternal. For you said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And you are so good and faithful, God. You are righteous, God. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your guidance. I praise you and give the glory and the honor. May you bless each one and every one that's uh, watching this video and that's still in this uh, battlefield. In this battlefield. Give us the strength to, uh, to come out of them. To come out of, out of this world and the traps of deception of the world, of the lies of the world. Help us. Thank you, Father God. I praise you and give the glory. In the most high living God, Jesus, the Messiah. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, I guess I uh, wanted to make this video. Uh, I was going to make it yesterday, but uh, it just got cut off, cut off uh, before I left. I uh, just wanted to outreach uh, my family in Christ out there and let them know. Uh, where I'm at and uh, 
Also, I wanted to ask for prayer. I'm uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada. I was I lived here for about twenty some years. I uh, I came here when I was like seven, I think, and uh, so I was like fourteen. Uh, I left Chicago for about a couple years, came back, and uh, altogether I've been here about twenty some years. So uh, I didn't meet my mom till I was like uh, twenty something. My dad till I was like seven. Lived with him about a couple years, and it was rough. It was uh, that's a battle to uh, be able to survive all that that. Uh, that stuff that I gone through, so I'm so blessed and thankful that uh, when everybody abandoned me and just uh, forgot about me, forgot about me, left me. Uh, God uh, was always there. He's a faithful God, so He will never abandon us or forsake us. The world will bring us down and take us down. So, yeah, I got this, uh, the enemy over here. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, these people over here, I'm at the Fremont Street Experience in one of the darkest places uh, in Vegas. So, that's why uh, if we are in the light, we are to be shining the light brightly, boldly, proclaiming the truth, the love, the message of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So if we are to be the light, we are to shine the light in those dark places where there's no light, where the light needs to be shined to all those that are blind and lost and broken and deceived in this lies of the world, in this materialism, in this uh, self-popularity, uh, look at me, look what I got, uh, I got better things and uh, well, pretty soon, all that, if it's not rooted, founded in the foundation of our Lord, it will be destroyed. So I just want to encourage you, you to find the Lord and surrender completely. And completely is repenting of your sin and accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For there's no other way to survive, to live life to the fullest, there's no life, there's no joy, there's no happiness, till we acknowledge and accept the true love and joy that only comes from our Father in Heaven, Amen. So, I'm gonna, I was gonna read a, okay, I'm gonna read a, on a, Chapter uh, Ephesians, chapter five. Therefore, therefore, be imitators of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given Himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not even be named among you as is fitting for saints, neither filthiness nor foolish talk, nor coarse jesting which are not fitting, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know that no fornicator, unclean person, nor covetous man who is an adulterer has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore do not be partakers with them, for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the, for the fruit of the Spirit is all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Find, finding out what is acceptable to the Lord, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. 
for it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light, for whatever makes manifest in the light, therefore he says, Awake, you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore do not be unwise, but understand that understand what the will of the Lord is, and do not be drunk with wine in which is this dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in the fear of God. Wives, submit to, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might, might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that, but that she should be holy and without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one ever hates his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, for his flesh and of his bones. For this reason a man should leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two should become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Amen. So uh, the reason I wanted to share this is uh, let uh on uh, verse 6, let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the son of disobedience. That's powerful. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore do not be partakers with them, for you were once darkness. But now you are light. Amen. In the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Finding out what is acceptable to the Lord. And have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness. But rather expose them. Amen. So I just want to stop there. and uh, I came here to Vegas. So I'm trying to... Um, see my daughter I haven't seen my daughter for about over five years in the last ten years I've seen her uh, about four or five times maybe and um, she's 16 years old right now she was born in uh, 2018 February 2018 so uh, it's a long story but I was married before and uh, my wife left me for another man God bless her and God bless them in the name of Jesus and uh, you know, it's just not right that uh, they will take uh, your kids and keep them away from you, you know. Uh, my, 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 my daughter, she stopped going to church and, you know, she's in the world now. So, um, I miss her and I will never abandon her. I will never abandon her. 
That's my child, and I love her. I love her so much. I keep her in my prayers, and I want to ask each one and every one out there, uh, please pray for her, and please play, uh, pray for her salvation. For we are, we really, really are living in the last days. So uh, I just hope that uh, everything goes well when I'm here. Uh, I'm gonna go to child protect, uh, with my child, uh, child support enforcement, and uh, go go deal with them over there because they have done a lot of wrong in my life, a lot of wrong, a lot of corruption. I'm not able to work. I haven't been able to work for many years. Uh, they have put so much uh, corruption in me, right? So much corruption and uh, so much lies and. Uh, to a point that I lost my mind and ended up uh, with a lifetime, life term, life term, life term disability due to the corruption, to the uh, torture of this evil, wickedness place. Child support is not for, must be child support for some, but my case was corruption, corruption. I have, they said I was uh, a rich man and that I had to pay thousands of dollars and I showed them the proof. Come on, I, make, I was making minimum wage when I got served with uh, paperwork and I've been paying, paying, paying. I have, instead of paying 18%, I was paying 50%, 50% of my income for one child when it's 18 percent because their lies they want more money so i am going to expose them no matter the cost i am done i will not take no part in these works of darkness and by <sighs> staying quiet by staying quiet by not saying nothing and standing up for the truth for what is righteous it's being part of the problem so i will expose them i will expose them with Jesus leading the way. I miss my daughter. I am a person. I am a child of God. I will seek for my daughter. There's no demon in this world that could keep my daughter from, from me, from having that relationship, father-daughter relationship. So I just rebuke those demons, those demons. I rebuke them and bind them in the name of the Most High, the one and only true living God, Yeshua HaMalashiach. So, uh, so having fellowship is by being part of the problem, by being with the corruption, we see all this wickedness, all this uh, uh, stuff all around us that we're living in days that are good is, it's bad. It's 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 bad. It's uh, it's bad to be a, a Christian. It's it's bad to be a man of faith, a man and woman of faith. It's uh, it's a, it's bad to uh, to uh, serve Christ Jesus. It's bad. The Homeland Security FBI has Christianity as domestic terrorists. Wake up, people. Wake up. We need to stick together. We need to stand together boldly proclaiming Jesus. Scatter. We will fall. United in the body of Christ. Holy Spirit filled. Holy Spirit led. It's the way. It's the only way. For He is the way. The truth and the life no one comes to the father but to jesus and that's the god that we serve jesus i rather i rather keep on pressing forward no matter no matter the cost you know i mean i haven't worked for many years i work here and there side jobs cash but i'm on disability if you guys have any questions or uh, anything, anything, any comments, please, please leave me a message. Please talk to me. Please keep me in your prayers. I, I really appreciate all that.
I really need to prayers. Uh, I have tried to seek for my daughter for many years, for many years, all these years. But uh, fortunately, as as walking with Christ, you have to deal with a lot of demons, and they're everywhere. They're everywhere. And when I talk about demons, I'm talking about spiritual, because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against uh, uh, for we don't wrestle against the flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of the wickedness in the heavenly places. That's uh, Ephesians 6, uh, 12. So brothers and sisters, uh, I'm just uh, reaching out to make this video. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know, but I miss my daughter and I will not, I will not, I will not allow it. For this to continue, I'm a, I'm a human being. I'm a person. I'm a dad. I'm a child, and I will live as a human being, as a person, as a child. For for me to live this Christ and to die is gain. For it's not me that lives, but Christ that lives in me. Amen. So I'm just. Uh, I'm over here in uh, Vegas right now. I'm uh, gonna get uh, go over there. It's like seven, like seven something right now. I just got over here on Greyhound, and uh, we're gonna go to the office uh, for uh, child support because they have done me so much wrong, and I haven't seen my daughter. The mom don't let me see her daughter, and I mean, there's so much on her side that she's doing that. She's not safe. She's not walking with the Lord, and God bless her. I hope she finds the Lord before uh, before uh, the end of days. That any time it could happen right now. So uh, last time I knew something about my daughter it was like when she was fourteen. Uh, found her Facebook page, and uh, I don't have a Facebook. I made one up to uh, try to find her and. Uh, I found her and she had a picture of men half naked and blowing smoke out of their mouths. Just 14, come on, really? Why are you misleading my child like that, whoever you are? I just rebuke you and bind you in the name of Jesus. You should know better. A child is precious in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. So I'm just going to uh, try to find a what I could do where the Lord leads me and uh, let's keep me in your prayers and I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and read uh, the armor of God for that's what we need the armor of God in our daily lives in our daily lives all day every day because without the armor of God we need to be covered we need to be protected with, by the armor of God for we are covered by the blood of Jesus we are his children so, Ephesians 6, uh, 12, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of the wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil days, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having girded your ways with truth, having put on, the breastplate of righteousness and having shot your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God praying always with all prayers and supplications in the spirit being watchful to this end with all prayer perseverance and supplications for all the saints and for me that uterus uterus may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak amen that's powerful Paul right there uh, uh, that's powerful so 
That's the armor of God. So, Father, I just pray right now for the armor of God, for your protection, for your anointing, Father God, for just the shield of protection, Father God. Just uh, give me the... Just ask you to empty this vessel. Just empty this vessel and use this vessel for your kingdom, Father. I just surrender all completely. Give it all to you, Father God. For there's none like you. And all belongs to you, Father God. Thank you for all. I just ask that you bless each step, each, each thought, each, each word that comes out of this mouth. Just may it be a blessing, Father God. And just uh, help me to uh, be able to reach those people that are... So they could do the right thing, so they could do the right thing, Father God. For this is wrong what they're doing. I'm a human being, I'm a person, and uh, I got a child. And uh, I love her, I love her, and I miss her. Thank you, Father God, for understanding my heart and my mind. And for the great things, for the great blessings that you're about to do, Father God. For I believe, I believe, and I have faith, and help me to have the, the faith bigger than the size of the mustard seed. For you said if you have the faith of the size of the mustard seed, you can move mountains, Father God. Yes, all things are possible to Christ who strengthens me. Well, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Amen. So, praise be to God, my brothers and sisters. Uh, if there's any questions, anything, uh, please uh, feel free. I just want to do the right thing and uh, I just hope that uh, everything works out and, you know, so, <sighs> alright, so I'm just going to cut this video right here, just going to show you guys around a little bit. Vegas right here, Sin City. Uh, can you please pray for the city as well? For you know what happened to Saddam and Gomorrah, burned down for the sinful lives, for the sinful ways, just like this place. It hurts me to be here, but I have to continue on pressing forward and I gotta shine the light to this place. Like every time I come here. I just preach, just let the Holy Spirit take over and do His will for it's not about me. It's the Holy Spirit that does, does it all through us when we allow Him to do work through us. Amen. There's miracles that happen when we surrender completely. Yes, completely. And allow the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us and strengthen us and to fulfill us with the with the grace, with the joy, with the strength. Amen. So, God bless you, brothers and sisters. I love you. And may the peace of the Lord and His total journey and grace be upon your heart and upon those that you love. In the name of Christ, keep shining brightly, proclaiming, sharing, standing up for the truth, for what is right. And that's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, I just pray for you all right now, and Father God, protect each one and every one of my brothers and sisters in Christ. Just give them the tools, Father God, to continue pressing forward, for there's no darkness that could come near us to dim our light. For you are the light, and we, we are in the light, Father God. We are your children. We are called your sons and daughters, Father God. Wow, what a blessing is that, to be children of that one and only true living God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the creator of everything that is seen and unseen. Praise the Lord. It's a big, huge blessing. Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much unconditionally. Bless my friends. Give them the joy and the peace. And uh, just the healing if they're sick, whatever uh, they need, Father God, to uh, edify and to build up the body of Christ. Thank you, Father God. And I pray this in the mighty name, above all names, Jesus. Amen.